Tyrannosaurus Rex, the tyrant king of the dinosaurs. Deep within the American Midwest, the mighty T-Rex was first discovered around 120 years ago. The discovery at the time was extraordinary, but due to the world wars and economic troubles of the first half of the century, getting experts out into the field was hard to achieve. But life as always finds a way. During the 1960s, newfound interest in the T-Rex sparked the minds of millions around the world. The T-Rex craze had begun, and it's hard to blame their interest and passion for this majestic creature. Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the most ferocious beings to ever walk planet Earth. The size of a bus, teeth that resemble daggers, and jaws that are theorized to be able to crush a car. It's easy to see why the people who discovered this beast called it the King of the Tyrant Lizards. T-Rex quickly became a household name, and nearly every child and adult would at some point in their lives fantasize about what this impressive animal must have actually been like. This led to the prehistoric predator going on to star in countless books, movies, TV shows, video games, earning billions of dollars over the decades, and helping to grow the population of people who consider themselves dinosaur lovers. Now. After decades of advancements in both science and understanding of dinosaurs, the tyrant kings and queens of the Cretaceous may have been even more impressive. A new theory proposed by a team of paleontologists from the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, Ontario suggests the T-Rex may have been much, much larger. At 40 feet or 12 meters long, and 12 feet or 3 to 4 meters high, and weighing between 5 and 8 tons, 10,000 to 16,000 pounds, the average rex size was larger than any land mammal living today. The largest T-Rex specimen found so far, Scotty, was allegedly just under 20,000 pounds. However, this new theory thinks even Scott could have been dwarfed by others of his kind. To bring this scientific study to life, we are going to take our T-Rex, who we've named Abaddon, we call her Abby for short, to the Mythos Labs. Welcome to the Mythos Labs channel. We bring the wildest scenarios of your imagination to life. So come give us a visit after this video. If you can't tell, Abby was curated in the labs using the most beloved interpretations of the T-Rex. We took the base appearance of everyone's favorite fictional Tyrannosaur, the one from the Jurassic series, and then morphed the body to take on characteristics from the most recent paleoaccurate model used in the prehistoric planet series. And lastly, we used the skeletal structure of Sue, the famous T-Rex specimen, to fill in the gaps. And there you have it, Dino CGI. Sorry, Jacob, I couldn't resist. Okay, Abby, this will only take a moment. Co-author of this study, Jordan Mallon, explained how he and his team estimated that during the T-Rex's time on Earth as a species, around two and a half billion individual Rexes walked the lands. Out of that vast number, we humans have only discovered 32 adult T-Rex specimens, meaning that we've just barely scratched the surface on learning how these animals actually were. The co-author on this study, David Ohm, figured that with billions of individuals, that every once in a while, a giant amongst giants may have grown. To help bring this proposed idea to light in your minds, imagine you select 10 humans out of a city of 5 million people. The likelihood that these individuals would average out to be very similar in size and shape is quite likely, somewhere between 5 and 6 feet tall and less than 200 pounds. But that doesn't mean that there aren't massive humans towering over 7 feet and weighing up to 400 pounds in that same city. But of course, humans aren't dinosaurs. Birds. The same concept applies for our feathered friends. As for example, some male ostriches are 7 feet tall, a little over 2 meters, while others can reach heights of over 9 feet or 3 meters tall. What about the dinosaur's cousins? The average size of a saltwater croc is 17 feet or 5 meters and around 1,000 pounds in weight. But experts predict these animals can, if allowed to live long lives, reach nearly 25 feet or 7 plus meters long and weigh almost 2,500 pounds. Using this idea, the team estimated that some T-Rex individuals could have grown well over 50 feet long and weighed over 30,000 pounds, potentially a whopping 70% larger in total body mass. 
Now, the researchers wanted to make it very clear that in their words, quote, this is simply a thought experiment with some numbers behind it. It's something that's fun to think about. And while there are those who disagree with this theory, there are some who believe this common sense approach is worth at the very least considering. Thomas Carr, a vertebrate paleontologist from Carthage College in Kenosha, Wisconsin says, this reminds us that what we know about dinosaurs isn't much at all, since the sample sizes are so small. When referring to the T-Rex species, he says, Right now, we are nowhere near the sample size needed, especially when compared to other species of animals. In closing, this study is not trying to convince you to think any certain way about the mighty T-Rex. The authors are well aware that this is nothing more than a well-thought-out theory, but with only around 30 T-Rex individuals ever discovered, it's going to take hundreds or thousands more for us to really be able to say, we understand the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But when we allow our minds to be open to any and all possibilities, who's to say that they couldn't be correct? At the end of the day, we know practically nothing about the ancient beings who once ruled the Earth. And I'll leave you all with the question, is the T-Rex still your favorite dinosaur? Once again, thank you to the Mythos Labs team for taking care of Abby for us and allowing us to use their facility to bring this study to life. If you like the animation in this video, you're gonna love their channel. So head on over there for more amazing content. What's up residents, this is Alistair here, just taking over for a sec. Five years ago on this day, we released What Did The T-Rex Really Sound Like? It was the video that really helped boost the channel into what it has become today. And this video was, in a way, made to honor the legacy of Dangerville. But more importantly, we made it for our fans, lovers of dinosaurs around the world, and of course, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the, the true king of the, the dinosaurs. dinosaurs. If you want us to collaborate with the Mythos Labs team more often and give you unique content like this video, share this video around and let us know in the comments. And make sure to go check out the Beast Hub where myself, Joe from Goji Center, and Clayton Fiorita, yes we let him out of the basement, discuss the T-Rex's modern day treatment in films and the paleo world in our opinions. Links to the episode can be found in the description.